Hello. So I was sitting eating a bag of chocolate chips the other day when a thought struck me. Then I almost lost the thought due to it hitting me rather hard and almost rendering me unconscious. This was, of course, combined with the fact that I had just recently returned home from a rather long and tiring shift at work. Under normal circumstances, a strike from any thought, large or small, is barely enough to leave a mark. Nonetheless, I managed to keep my consciousness somewhat intact and I grasped the thought before it managed to slip away into thin air and grace some other poor fellow with its presence. I say some other poor fellow not because the thought is anything of dastardly or disgusting proportions, but because the thought is so extraordinarily subtle that if it weren't for the blow it delivers, one would hardly even notice or begin to interpret the thought. I do not mean to talk myself up by saying the following, but the thought is so subtly clever that it seems to think of itself as something worth some sort of substantial note. More so than any other important thought, that is. And tends to strike harder than any other thought I have ever encountered in the entirety of my life. It is on this note that I base my logic which states that any other bloke to be struck by this thought would be a poor bloke indeed due to a probable inexperience of being struck by any thought at all. Never mind an important one. I apologize if my digression bores you, but I found and find all these things to be extremely important when I was struck by the original thought, so I can only assume that any other person who wishes to hear the thought must find them extremely important as well. I also truly wish that this digression will lessen the pain and possible force that the blow will no doubt deliver once it has made its appearance in any of you unfortunate viewers. Anyway, I believe we're at the point where I started to read the nutritional information on the bag of chocolate chips which I was stuffing down my esophagus at an alarming rate. This alarming rate was, of course, or simply to distract myself from the throbbing headache which the blow of the thought had given me. At any rate, alarming or not, I was reading the nutritional information on the chocolate chip bag. I'm not quite sure why I read it, because I have no intention of ever going on a diet or setting a curfew on the population of calories and fats in my body, but I read it nonetheless. It was during the reading of the nutritional information which I had the latter thought, which this time around was substantial enough to erase the previous thought of which I'm supposed to be telling you, but... I'm failing quite horribly. As it turns out, I have no miraculous thought to share with you. And I must apologize that the reason for this is something as mundane as petty nutritional information on the back of a plastic package containing chocolate chips. It would appear that you, viewers, are left with what I would call the disappointment of an unsatisfied curiosity. If it's any condolence, I'm not only experiencing the same dilemma, but I also have a rather bad headache and an upset stomach.